Okay, but let me tell you why that person who hasn't done anything, why they think the way that they do. They have low or mediocre self-worth. So don't be ashamed of wanting to step outside of what you have done up to this point. Bet on yourself. Bet on you. You can have the life you desire. You can have the lifestyle that is fulfilling to you. You can do the activities that bring you peace and happiness and enrich your life. You can have material things or public recognition if that's what you want. You must get to the point where you believe that what is available for other people, what you've seen on social media, what you see on TV, even what your girlfriends talk about, what, uh, what is available for anyone else is available for you too. Then you can, then you have to believe that you are the person to build it, create it, or organize a plan to achieve your dreams. That's what curating your life is all about, is organizing a plan to achieve your dreams. No matter how you look at it, you have to have a plan because you. It, in order for you to achieve your dreams, if that is building something or giving something away or just having more time to do stuff, it takes money. I don't know. Any way that you can have a whole free day and not have money or be able to help somebody like I was just talking about and not use money, money is important to the choices and opportunities available in our lives. Money is important to financing the things that we want to do in our lives and really having the lifestyle and the surroundings that we want in our lives requires finances. You have to believe that you have the ability to earn, right? Or find the right resources needed to fund your dreams. You have to believe within yourself that financial barriers, now you might have financial issues or concerns, but financial barriers do not keep you from living your dreams. You have to change your thinking about that. You have to decide that your dreams will no longer be delayed because you're waiting on someone else to help you take action in your life financially. You might have to sacrifice or save or work more for a, a, a minimum of time just to get where you want to go. It's okay. Because you're working on prove, improving your self-worth, you will have the desire to learn new skills and the patience and resilience to wait and see the benefit of achieving your goals. You won't be thinking that it's just going to happen overnight. You'll know that, okay, this step is going to take me six months. This step might take a year, but you have those benchmarks that show success on your way that's building your self-worth, that's building your self-esteem, that's adding to your confidence. You put in the emotional work. Now your self-worth and self-fulfillment are through the roof because you've learned who you are and whose you are. You know, the Bible is a great book. Psalm 16, 2 and 11. Psalms 2 says, um, Oh, my soul, you have said to the Lord, you are my Lord. My goodness is nothing apart from you. Here's verse 11. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. So what that saying is God wants us to have the desires of our heart. He gives us the desires of our heart. Anything good comes from God and he makes a way, but we have to be in tune with who we are and be, be in relationship with God. If you don't know how to start incorporating a prayer life into your daily routine, Read my book, Brains and Bobbles, Do What Works For You. I talk about what I do and how I find out what it is I'm supposed to do and get clarity and get wisdom on what it is that I'm supposed to do. So in a nutshell, what this scripture is telling you is that you are worthy of the things your heart desires. So that may mean you are worthy of building a house from the ground up. You are worthy of a solo birthday trip to Africa. 
you are worthy of a special office and prayer room in the spare bedroom of your house and decorate it to your unique specifications and just the way you want it. You are worthy of a G-Wagon. You are worthy of a massage every couple of weeks for self-care or a housekeeper that does the chores so you can spend time working on your dreams. How you value yourself is directly related to how people treat you. When you develop your self-worth, you show up in relationships as your authentic self. Your authentic professional self doesn't make excuses when they're getting close to a timeline. They talk about it and communicate it in advance. You show up as your authentic friend or family member self and advise people when they ask for advice. And then you keep your word and you don't go about gossiping about their business. And as your authentic romantic or intimate relation self, you are open with your partner. There's a particular freedom you experience when you don't when you don't feel inadequate or behind the eight ball by life, you know, and you stop comparing yourself to other people. The ultimate freedom is when you trust your mate and you are secure enough in your value to be trustworthy. You're not looking to have somebody waiting in the wings because you think this relationship isn't going to work because you had a misunderstanding. You are secure enough and trust your mate enough to be vulnerable. When you have questions or concerns, you vocally ask or say something. And when they say something to you, you don't get easily offended. You are open to compromise and really want to understand their point of view. Listen, that's the ultimate freedom the ultimate freedom. The study of emotional intelligence grounds your thinking and behavior to focus on the things that you can control. It allows you to see yourself through your own eyes, the real you, not the representative that you show other people, not your fake it till your make it self. Self-worth is directly related to self-fulfillment. Self-fulfillment comes with giving giving of time or giving of money or contributions to society. We all have a unique purpose. We all have something that is a unique thing that only we can do. Self-awareness is the tool to identify that unique purpose. So if you don't already know what your purpose is, use self-awareness to start pinpointing what are the things that you've done well in your life that you are naturally, are naturally able to do and do it well. Someone needs to read your writing. Someone needs to learn your process or someone needs to wear your designs, eat your food, use your app or your software. If you never take action or command control of your life or contribute to society, then you haven't done what God created you to contribute. So how can you have fulfillment in life? You can be the person that can do or have the things you desire only if you believe you are worth it. 